Goodbye, Ocean View Suite. You have been awesome. You're really big and spacious and great. But we're going to have to move to another stateroom for the rest of this next week. So. Oh, darn. Bummer. We're going to go on another <laughs> week on the Mardi Gras. So it's time to get breakfast while everybody else is debarking the ship. We're just going to kind of stay on it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep this party going. Yeah. We're on deck 18 right now doing a science experiment. It is debarkation morning. And we're curious how many people decide to ride the elevator up instead of down to make sure that they can get off when they want to get off. Right now, we've hit the button to go down five times. It has come up completely packed. Every time. We got all the time in the road. We got another week on the ship. Yep. All right. Disembarkation morning is a little wild when you're trying to get on the elevators. But, I mean, if you're doing a back-to-back, -back, just take it easy. Get some blue iguana and mosey on throughout the day because you're going on another week of vacay. Check out this chocolate milk. <laughs> it's like a juice box. Good morning, guys. It's disembarkation day, but it's also embarkation day. Uh, we're back in sunny Port Canaveral, just waiting to get off the ship so we can get right back on. Uh, we had some Java blue breakfast again this morning. I think it's our go-to place for breakfast on the Mardi Gras. Very good sandwiches, very fast. We just did part of our back-to-back -back process. We had to give them our old room keys, get our picture taken again, and then we were presented with a free drink voucher and a coupon for a free picture for our vacation. Getting on fire, keeping you in the loop of our vacation operation. We've got so my name's getting on fire. I'll see you down here, but until next time, bye. 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 Okay, bye. And along with the free elf drink coupon, you also get this coupon for a free photo for Pixels. I guess they take a picture of, of, of all the back-to-back -back cruisers together. So we get that. Um, we're just waiting for Tim and Bridget right now, and we'll get right off the ship and get right back on, hopefully. And we'll just be able to kind of chill and relax while everybody else is getting on the boat today. Mm -hmm. So it should be a nice process. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, everybody. Bridget's about to open up her back-to-back -back card, and we're gonna see if it's gold or if it's red. Here we go. I got a golden ticket. That's oh, red. It's totally gonna be red, isn't it? Is it? <gasps> oh, Why no! is it red? <laughs> Why is it red? Bridget, flip it over for us. Guess Why is it still? Why are you red? Bridget, yeah. how are you feeling? All right, trivia question for the day, Tim. That's right, it's trivia time. How long will Bridget be red? Should we just give the answer now? Forever. Forever. <laughs> we love her. But what do you say she's seeing a lot of red right now, Tim? <laughs> Is it? You know what, though? I'd rather be a ruby than a hunk of gold. Rubies are rare. Yeah, but red crayons are not. That's not your favorite flavor? It's a lot of red. Red crayon isn't your favorite flavor? Oh, we're getting off the ship, you guys. Oh, yeah. Good thing we get to get right back on. Woo! Making our way back on board for another week in the Mardi Gras. Second week cruising. Is this the Ah. <laughs> All right, so we've made it back on board after a little hiccup going through security. Uh, enhanced driver's licenses. This just seems like nobody ever knows that you, what what that is. That they're always about the, the birth certificates and the passports. But you go, no, hold on a second. I've, I've got enhanced driver's license, and he's still flying. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you guys are from any states up north that border Canada that allow you to get the enhanced driver's license, just know that it can be kind of a struggle with cruising, even though they allow it. Yeah, yep. yeah you really got to remind them what an enhanced license is. Yeah, I think this year we're all going to consider actually getting our passports finally. Tim and Bridger are going to go to guest services and Amanda and I are just going to go find a place to chill. We have a red alert we've got to go take care of. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Gold leader out. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Oh.
If anybody's gold leader, it's Amanda. Yeah, I'm gold leader. That's true. She's Let's true. roll. A second man. A second man. We're coming from guest services right now. Mini was amazing at guest services. Like, I got everything I needed. They said I was gonna have to wait a couple days to get this bad boy. Ah, she's gold uh, now, uh -huh, yo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But she took care of it right there for me because she saw on my account, like, oh no, you should be gold. I can change it for you right now. So like, where are we going now? We're going to Pixel so I can get my pin, my VFPFCF, whatever. Gold, gold gift. Gold gift. <laughs> I like. My, I'm gonna go get my gold gift. Let's now. do it. This is an important moment for Bridgie. It is a very important Her first, my first gold gift. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Elevator. Uh, 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 uh. We keep bouncing. This thing's gonna crash back down to the bottom. <laughs> Elevator. <laughs> So we're at Lou Iguana, Tim's getting guys, and they got a couple street eats. It's kind of nice doing a back-to-back -back because you kind of get to do everything before everybody else. We got fresh food right now. Um, there's barely anybody on board. It's going to be a nice day. There's plenty of open seating. There's no fighting for a spot to sit right now. I mean, if you can't tell, my voice is echoing and we're on the Lido deck. So this is pretty awesome. I'm digging this. Impressions of the room, y'all. Yeah, water's already here. Okay, okay, wow, all right. Okay, this looks bigger. I'm okay with this. We can fit right here. We'll just get this little stool out. Okay, I like it. All right, a very, very fast room tour here. We got the couch, we've got the closets here. The bathroom's gonna be in here, guys. And then let's go out here and check out our balcony for this leg of the cruise. Oh, catch me outside. How about that? Oh, Seven or eight. folks, <laughs> she's gone. She's gone, you guys. All right, y'all. I'm getting in the Vanna pool on embarkation day for the first time. It is very chilly. Oh yeah, no, this is not bridgy water. That's for sure. Part of our live stream, you probably already saw this, but earlier today they knocked on our door and we had a little special delivery. We ended up getting a bottle of champagne and a fruit basket, and uh, they told us it was because we're back to back guests. So I don't know if they do that on every ship, but it's pretty cool. I hung out in the Havana pool, which was freezing. Uh, what are your first impressions of the Havana area? Uh, it's kind of noisy, uh, doors are slamming everywhere can hear people outside the room uh honestly the balcony is not as bad as i was expecting though like i haven't really noticed anybody else outside of theirs where i thought it would be kind of annoying but mm -hmm. yeah the balcony is kind of cool actually i didn't think it'd be as cool as it is and it's really nice tim and bridget are about what do you think like 15 rooms down maybe yeah easy walk inside and outside yep it's nice you can just walk straight from the balcony to the pool in the Havana area without having to take your shoes off. One thing I do also really like is the bar is literally like 20 feet away from our room. Just go out the back slider and walk down the way and I can go get myself an old fashioned or a rum and coke or whatever. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool. We have the cheers package on this leg of the cruise so it'll be easier to take advantage of it. And the pool is like five feet away from the bar, so. It was a lot bigger than what I've noticed in any vlog. It looks really small, but it was actually quite large. Yeah, you could fit at least probably 12 people in there. I mean, you're just hanging. It's a, I think it's like three feet deep only on this one. Yeah, but. it's got a nice ledge around it. I think it's mm -hmm. just meant for lounging. Yeah, it will be awesome though, because we can just literally go from the pool to our balcony and dry off. It'll be really nice. 
Uh, one thing that I do wish was a little different was the swinging chair, which was just like two or three inches taller. It's a little short. It's, it's incredibly short for me. I can imagine anybody taller yeah. than me. The chair is comfortable, it's just it's kind of difficult to swing on. Bridget said she enjoyed it though, so I don't know, maybe it's just us. So Amanda and I finally caught up to Tim and Bridget. Uh, we're sitting down in the MDR. Say hi, everybody. Hi, hi everybody. Bye, bye everybody. Because everybody would rather see me. <laughs> what have you uh, cool cats been up to? We were hanging out on our awesome balcony, and then we spent the majority of our time taking care of our clothes. Yeah, we unpacked. We, we, don't, we don't have as big a closet and drawer space as we did from our last cruise. You know, we, were in the, know. we were in a suite last so week, sad. so uh, you know, we, we're making it work. Oh, and I totally am doing laundry on the ship for the first time. And I thought we were going to need like four bags and we totally like squeezed everything into two. And there's a lot of space, so uh, laundry. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We'll see. your first MDR experience since the horizon. How was it on the Carnival Mardi Gras? It was actually really good. The food was hot. Brisket was actually not dry for once. And we're about to find out what dessert is. Bridget, Timothy, your guys' first MDR experience since the sunshine? It was excellent. Good food. We've yeah. tried something different today and we didn't come right when the restaurant opened. And it was fast. Yeah. But I'm not feeling rushed. No. Which on Sunshine I did when we were in those those two times. They were like, let's get you in, let's get you out, let's go, let's go, let's go. Typical MDR standards here. Tonight was up here. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was above a nice dinner here. It's above average for the MDR. It reminds me a lot of the victory. Like, I loved the Carnival Victory. Our dinners there made cruising for me. So. And we went there every night. That was fun. We had a lot I of fun. I loved We had such a big group. I think we walked through Get the tiramisu at the MDR. So, so good. That's all I gotta say. We're at the Punchliner Comedy Club right now with Tim and Bridget. And we're gonna go see an 18 plus show. Jimmy. Jimmy Della. Della Valley. something. Oh, Della guys. Valley. Cameraman's we don't know how to pronounce you. it. He's a big, big old thing right there. I don't know what's going on. Well, they've also got a picture of our dogs. Well, anyway, we're at the Punchliner Comedy Club. We're gonna go have some laughs. We're really full of time. Looks like Amanda found John in the net again. You ladies are about to do some shots. Yeah, he's bringing us two lemon drops each. He's gonna Ooh. take care of us. That's gonna be interesting. Toss him back. Chase it with the other one. Again? Yeah. That's what you do. No, we're Welcome doing on vacation. And now we're getting messed up. You're a week behind. Let's go. Get it. Woo! <laughs> All right, you guys. That was a good comedy show. We're outside our rooms right now. Tim and Bridget are dropping us off. <laughs> Ladies had a little too much to drink tonight, I think. Cheers package, y'all. It's in the house this week. It's oh, definitely boy. a different cruise, but we're going to sign off now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet.